Hi guys, welcome, Bonnie here. So I was recently at the dollar store. I wanted to see what holiday decorations they had in stock and what other gadgets and gizmos they have around. And I found something amazing. I was very surprised to find it at the dollar store and I was having a hard time believing that it was actually gonna cost just $1. I would expect these to cost five to ten dollars and well it blew my mind <laughs> um, and when I got up to the cash register the cashier was even surprised to see that they had it in stock because she said these are ours I said yep yeah. and she scanned it and they were one dollar each so hallelujah that was amazing um, let me go ahead and show you what it is that I got so I'm gonna show you in the order of the number, maybe you already know what it is just by looking at it. Maybe you've seen it before. Was it in your dollar store? Because it was in mine. <laughs> All right, let's start with number one. They had Star Wars replica helmets. We have Kylo Ren and Poe Dameron, and these are actually really cute. And they have little stands and there's a blurb about it on the back and one dollar this is Star Wars this is licensed Star Wars never would I have ever thought it was only gonna cost one dollar the next one I got was Captain Phasma and first order stormtrooper they all have their own stands and a little blurb about them on the back this was number two I didn't get number three. I skipped that one because I didn't really care about it. I don't remember which helmets they were, but then I got number four, which is a TIE Fighter pilot and Black Leader Poe Dameron. Super cute. Hello, exposure. And a little blurb on the back about it. So those were the last of the helmets, but then the well, that I got. Those are the last of the helmets that I purchased. But they also had a bunch of different spaceships. And I only grabbed two. Because these were the two that I thought looked good. Um, and in order of the number printed on it. We have a first order TIE fighter. And he's got a little stand going on in there. And he's number 13. A little blurb on the back about it and then the very last thing I got was a tie striker which is number 30 these are so cool and they look really really cute I'm sure they had more like um, light side ships but I didn't really like the look of them I will usually go for things even though like I like the Millennium Falcon. If it doesn't look great, I'm not gonna get it just because it's the Millennium Falcon. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm very, very happy with my purchase. So, you know, I got what, five of these, which was five dollars. Five dollars for Star Wars licensed items. It blows my mind and I am so very happy with my find and it's just another thing to add to my collection shelf <laughs> which is filling up pretty fast so might have to expand my shelf space someday um, but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and if you are interested in Star Wars and the ships and helmets which one was your favorite let me know in the comments down below I'll see you guys next time until then goodbye and good luck. Here is a bit of bonus footage to those of you who made it all the way to the end of the video. Thank you. I like you. You're pretty cool. Thanks for making it all the way through. Here you can see the first order TIE fighter pilot actually came with a little accessory. It is attached to his helmet, but it can come out. And then we've got Podamarin's two different versions of his helmet. Kylo Ren, Phasma, First Order Trooper. And then we come over here to the spaceships. 
Now what I want to show you, you can actually see I already lifted this one up. They have little cockpits that can open up and you can see a little chair in there in this one as well. But now not only do they have cockpits, but this one's wings also move up and down. Now it's so cool. These are made out of metal. And for $1, I absolutely 100% got my worth plus more. So thank you again for watching. See you later, guys.